Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, so today I'm finally gonna address this uh, chipping issue here. So what I basically what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna wash the car because she's really dirty. But as I wash it, I'm gonna clay and wash these two spots here, just this area here and there, and see uh, how much of this comes off. But as you can see, it's the car is pretty dirty right now, so I'm gonna wash it first clay right here and then dry it and then uh we'll see how it looks i'm gonna be taking these out um basically what i'm gonna do since i have so many of these i'm gonna get uh another set out of my box and i bought some uh pr3 paint which is f directly from chrysler mopar which is the torrid color of, of my car so i'm gonna paint these take these out and then put the red ones in once they're dried up and then touch this up with that same paint and see how it looks. Hopefully it's not that noticeable anymore. But uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be working on today, guys. So let's get started. So I, I watered the car down. If you've seen any of my previous videos, you know that I don't use soap on my car, I just water it down and dry it. If you want to know why I do that, or how I get away with doing that without scratching the paint, uh, I'll put the link in the description, but it's basically a, a video of how I wash my car, and what I use to not have to uh, use soap. But today I am going to use soap, I have this soap with water in here, this is what, Meguiar's Ultimate Wash and Wax. So the reason I'm using soap from the back is because like I said, I'm going to clay the back. Just those two little spots there. And when you clay a car with this specific uh, Mother's Clay Bar 2.0, I believe it's called something like that. I'll add that in the description as well. But uh, I'm gonna use this with the soap as lubrication. See if I can scratch off the, the remaining paint that's just about to fall out of there. That way when I add the, the new paint, it'll, it'll uh, sit on there better. So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and do that. Lubricate this. Start hitting these spots here. Let's see if it comes off. At least those marks that were around there. I don't want to hit it too hard. I'm scratch it. All right, guys, so I hit it with the clay and I think what I'm gonna just end up trying to do is just barely dab the paint all around here and then really hit these two spots here. Same thing on this side. This has a few more spots that are open here and then just hit it all around. Like I said, I'm gonna paint a couple of these and take these out and put the red ones in. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna dry the car and then uh, we'll get to it. All right guys, so she's all cleaned up now. So, so you guys can see what, uh, how it comes out. I didn't shine the tires or anything, just a quick wash and dry and just apply some more of that detail spray I have. Guys, just uh, check out 
I'm saying check out that video of how I wash the car though, because I keep my car pretty clean. I do a pretty good job of it. And just give you guys a little spoiler here. It's it's F it's a uh, top coat F11, guys. That's all it is. Okay. But check out that video. I explain how I do it. And uh, cause it comes out good, guys. And even when it's dirty, it looks clean. Like at the beginning of this video, you know, she looked clean. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys say, oh, she looked clean. But I mean, look, look at this shit. It's clean, guys. All right, so back to what we're talking about. Do some arts and craft, guys. So like I told you, I bought some paint, right? Here it is right here, okay? PR3 Mopar. This is a torrid color for my car. So how do you find out what color your car is, guys, on your chargers or challengers? Or even if you're just, you know, not a Mopar guy and you're watching my videos, right here. Driver's door. And it is, where is she at? All right, here. Flip the camera over, right there, right? Paint. PR3, right? And here it is, PR3, Mopar, okay? So, go on the side real quick and play some arts and crafts. All right, so here it is, guys. And the box will tell you how to open it because I bought this a long time ago, a different one, I spilled it. So you see, you open it up, I'm gonna take this brush out right here, and I'm gonna paint these little rubber hole fillers here. Paint them both, let them dry. And then down here, it'll say, this part right here, I believe is for the clear coat. I wanna get that little shine. And I'll put, throw some of that on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint these. All I'm gonna do is just, like I said, just brush them on there, little arts and crafts. Uh, I'll show you guys finished product. All right guys, so there it is. I painted them red right there, letting them dry now, and then I'll add some of the clear coat. And then I'll take those other ones that I have in the trunk and I'll put these in. Hopefully they, don't crack or anything. All right, guys. So I'm letting the. I know I, I painted these right. Well, different set. They're drying. I now I added one coat of that red paint on here. So same thing over here. So you can see the chips are covered. Okay. But you can still see the kind of that blackness around there. So like I'm gonna let this dry. Let these dry. Maybe add a couple more coats. And then I'll, and then once that's dried up, I will add the clear coat and hopefully that blends in pretty well. But right now, after the first coat, it's still pretty noticeable. So we'll see. All right, guys, so I'm all done. Uh, so let's, uh, I'm gonna pull her out so you guys can see her and I'll get a better view of the, of the paint. And pull her out, I'm pretty sure you guys wanna hear her anyways. Alright guys, so she's all done. Let's see how she turned out. Alright, there it is guys. It's still noticeable, you know, you can still see the marks around there, but uh I mean it's, it's I think it's better, right? I'm not a professional uh you know, I'm not a professional paint guy or anything like that or body shop guy. I just, like I said, I just bought that bottle and I uh, I dab it on there, a couple coats, a couple coats of clear coat, and uh, that's all, guys. Well, I guess since I washed her today, I'll give you guys a little, little walk around ish, because man, she looks, it's clean. And like I told you guys, yeah, y'all need to watch how I wash this car. And like I said, my method. Pretty sure it can work on any car. And let me 
She is clean. Oof. once a week like I said. Bye guys.